So finally, Evolution X OS version 7.0 based on Android 13 is officially available and some of the devices already got the update and if your device did not got the update yet, you will get very very soon. This is a first initial build and we have the first look available Well, I'm, I'm gonna talk about some few of the things which are included like any customizations are there or not and how is the first impression so far about Evolution X OS Android 13 based initial build let's get started and make sure to watch this video till the end also make sure to subscribe the channel because a lot of videos regarding android 13 custom homes and also all the previous custom homes android 12 l etc are already on our channel so make sure to subscribe it we have the default ui default or ui is actually same for example the pixel launcher is pre-installed evolution xos is one of the most famous custom homes which which always give you the pixel ui alongside with that some of the customization are always included and it's almost same like this one you can see the version is 13 we have pixel launcher pre-installed and like in android 12.5 or sorry android 12 l we got the black or dark kind of quick settings panel so as in this one too like some of the devices like some of the custom homes customize it to the light mode and in android 13 maybe some of the custom homes will give you light mode but right now evolution xos will not give you the light mode at all as i think so so yes the dark background and quick settings panel is here one thing if you're able to notice here is the settings icon the power menu animation is same the settings icon is bit changed the default settings icon is not like that so this is the themed icon which is available in evolution x os quick settings panel one more thing if you are able to notice here is the default wallpapers app which was available in evolution x versions based on android 12 or android 12 l or maybe even before that so yes the good thing is it's available here too if you need evolution x wallpapers on your device in android 13 you will get that app too so that's also one of the positives about this one let's take a quick look at settings first of all if you're able to notice one thing let me show you if you're able to notice the fonts yes you can customize those i have customized these fonts and you can do too very easily but before moving on to the fonts customizations let's take a look at some few of the things in settings ui some changes which we have here by default or not as it has only one change which i found here is a swipe to screenshot you will see you can say that this is not a new thing but in android 13 i think so i've tried arrow os and i've tried the normal aos p1 so this might be mine first custom home which includes some few of the customizations so yes swipe to screenshot is there like gesture navigation does not include the option to hide the navigation bar pill or space like in keyboard you can wait for it in upcoming updates we might see things added here too like wallpapers and style also includes all the wallpapers wallpaper colors like in android 13 we have more wallpaper colors available if you don't know i made a video on android 13 stable version like which are the changes available you can go and check it out that video for the detailed changes about android 13 i'm just talking about this custom home changes so if you need android 13 based things which are added in android 13 some of the changes or etc as i just said i made a video already on that make sure to find out that thing too like in evolver where you have all these customizations as you just saw the fonts have been changed so yes obviously this thing has already been added into the customization section but in the terms of other customizations unlimited google photo storage that's something really good high fps in games and temperature warning and some of the things have been added in miscellaneous but other than else animations only have the screen of animation so if you use this thing you can use this here too other than else if you move on to the buttons customizations we have only same system navigation things lock screen only has a ripple effect customization if you want to enable this thing or if you don't want to enable this thing this thing is available here like gestures of course same no major customizations here power menu also does not have major customizations notifications also does not have any customizations even status bar does not have any customizations so stay tuned we'll see a lot of customizations in the upcoming times but in theming section some of the things have been added the dark theme which which does not include the black theme at least but the fonts have the customizations in my personal opinion i like this thing a lot at least fonts customizations have been added so you can use these things if you want to some of my favorite fonts also includes the san francisco which are basically ios style fonts and some icon pack related customizations i had applied the arches one it's there 
PUI which is Pavlova UI will be included in the upcoming updates I think so and other customizations you just saw like status bar and Wi-Fi icons and etc etc these are the things these are my first impressions if you want to install this thing link is there thanks for watching and goodbye